When you have a half a million Americans sleeping out on the street today, and then you also have three people owning more wealth than the bottom half of American society, that is a moral and economic outrage. So if you're asking me, do I think we should demand that the wealthy start paying the wealthiest, top one-tenth of one percent, start paying their fair share of taxes? Yes, that's exactly what I believe. Taxing income is not going to get you where you need to be the way taxing wealth does. We need a wealth tax in order to make investments in the next generation. Okay, well, that's one way to pay for it. Mike Rowe, TV host and author of a brand new book, it's called The Way I Heard It, joins us live right now. Mike, uh, you know, uh, I know you were traveling, promoting your brand new book. So Terribly busy, Steve. You were Terribly on my busy. radio show yesterday. That but, was well, the highlight. Not that busy. <laughs> uh, Bernie Sanders, <laughs> among other things, wants a 97% tax rate mm -hmm. on the 400 richest Americans because he's got big plans with a big uh, price tag. Yeah, um, okay. Yeah, it's free country, ideas, float them, fly them, right. run them up the old flagpole, see who salutes. I, look, in the end, you've got millionaires arguing with millionaires over who hates the millionaires the most. Right. And I, I guess it's a conversation we'll have, but I remember a couple of years ago, I took my, uh, my meager staff over to the Reagan Ranch. Mm -hmm. You know, if you haven't yeah. been, it's, I mean, Beautiful. it's, it's, it's terrific. But, uh, one of the stories they tell is the time when Ronald Reagan just finally decided he was done doing movies. He's just done uh, because he was paying 92% of every dollar he made mm -hmm. on films. And it was just math. You know, he wasn't done acting. He just looked at it and did some basic calculus and said, not for right. me anymore. It makes no sense to do this. So the wealthiest people will just say, I'm not working anymore. I live in California. I just read a report that said, the uh, the exodus this year mm -hmm. as a result of a 13 and a half percent state tax and some other tweaks to the system is unlike anything they've ever seen before so I know it's convenient it's fun to kind of hate the rich and all but in the end they're just people and they're gonna do the math right. and they're gonna go to where the math is better uh, I'll tell you this is when I thought about you during the debate the guaranteed income they had two or three of the candidates saying, get $1,000 because automation's here and you're not going to be able to get a job, so let's give people $1,000. Why not 2000 Why right. not? Why so, not three? So all you do is hang out with people that work for a living and you find, try to find out about their jobs, dirty jobs, is when you really emerged. And when you see people giving money away, what does it do for the, for the, for the self-esteem when you get something for free? You, you can't ignore the human condition. Right. We're fundamentally lazy people. Mm -hmm. We have to be taught... I think, to not be lazy. Don't call Ainsley that. I don't mind if you call me that, but please. <laughs> I'm, call, I'm calling you fundamental. Uh, I'm calling me uh, lazy. He's I, looking think, at you I think that's worse. But well, I'm just saying that, you know, if, if you give me a choice, and I, I don't see myself as lazy, but if you give me a choice of the easy way or the hard way, right. I, I can't help it. I'm going to default to the easy sure. way. Wait, free money? Free money. I want it. So, look, that, my only concern, not my only concern, but my biggest concern with that kind of arguing is exactly what we discussed yesterday and just now. Once you say, okay, free money, the next question has to be, why not more? And that's the beef with the $5,000 surge in the middle class right now. How do you argue against that? You simply say it's not big enough. Right. Incomes, why not 10? Incomes of the middle class have gone up $5,000 per family during the Trump years so far. Right. Yeah, not enough. Sorry. How is that going to fare election time? I mean, the economy's great. People have 5000 more each year. If I learned anything... Uh, from 2016, I, it's I don't know, and <laughs> and looking at polls today, I. But you guys tell me, I I flick around all over the place, and right. I still pe I still see people looking at polls and saying, based on the poll, dot dot dot. Every day. Why would anybody look at any poll I, anywhere and conclude anything ever? I agree, but the one thing that's going to help you, the and if you ever go back to dirty jobs, time. is these trade deals allow manufacturing to come back to this country where the middle class can reestablish itself. And that seems to be the theme, and I don't think Democrats are pushing back on it. Let's talk.